Hey guys, welcome to another fast fact. And for this uh, fast fact, we're going to look at the importance of battles. Uh, so with the Civil War, uh, Gettysburg is often cited as the biggest battle, the most important battle. Uh, it was the bloodiest battle of the war. Many people just look at the side, the fact that it was the largest. It happened in the middle of the war, and uh, the largest, uh, the bloodiest that happened in the middle of the war, and sort of point to those as reasons to, to cite Gettysburg had the battle that changed the course of the war. Uh, there were battles before and after Gettysburg that really had a larger impact, uh, a bigger role uh, in determining the course of the war and, and an overall, uh, sort of had an overall influence on the war and the flow of the war from the day that they occurred. Uh, Antietam is one battle. Antietam allowed for the Emancipation Proclamation to be issued. Uh, that decided that decisively kept Great Britain and France from intervening in the war. Um, Chancellorsville. Chancellorsville uh, was such a terrible defeat for the United States Army that, in many ways, the Army was determined to uh, was determined to never again uh, be caught um, with its pants down, so to speak, um, by the Army of Northern Virginia. Uh, that they. They, they would carry this grudge with them and that they would be looking, looking for an opportunity to do so. And to be certain, Gettysburg was a great victory. It was a big, great victory all in itself. Lee had been unstoppable up until Gettysburg. Lee suffered a, a, a tremendous defeat. The near annihilation of George Pickett's it wasn't even a near. His picket was annihilated. Uh, Pickett's uh, division was annihilated. That charge on the third day completely destroyed. Um, Lee could not move the federal uh, forces, the United States forces, from the left or the right flanks on the on the uh, on the second day. And more importantly, Meade Meade had occupied the high ground. Meade took the initiative. After losing the town, he occupied the high ground. Uh, he took the high ground and he held the high ground. Uh, so Gettysburg itself is important. Um, Vicksburg cut the United States in two. Vicksburg um, cemented uh, the United States' predominance in the West. And it elevated Grant. It rose the stature of Ulysses S. Grant. Grant will go on to receive uh, the rank of Lieutenant General. No one had else had, had the rank of Lieutenant General in the history of the United States since George Washington. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant was given the keys to the company, uh, given the keys to the company and told to excel. So Vicksburg elevated Grant's stature. Grant would eventually uh, go on to be president. He would go on to win the war and to be president. So, so uh, Vicksburg looms large and of course Atlanta Atlanta with that pivotal victory uh, that broke the Confederacy that broke the deep south in two um, Atlanta was a key rail junction Atlanta was an economic uh, and industrial hub Atlanta was gone he took Atlanta and he went on to destroy the interior of the uh, of the south pushing up from Georgia through South Carolina and through North Carolina on a very destructive march. Atlanta was also one in three one of three battles that propelled the United States uh, Republican Party and Abraham Lincoln to re-election in, in, in the uh, elections of 1864. So these battles all all have importance. But another aspect to, to consider with these battles is that battles are only as important they're only as important as their political outcomes are. Uh, it is it is always good to remember that battles are political in nature. They're military in nature, to be certain. They 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 are uh, they um they um uh they, they they both have that uh that very um militaristic outlook, that very militaristic um uh nature. But they are political. They are political tools. Uh, they they always have a political outcome. So when we examine these battles, when we examine their importance, we will look at the, the time frame that they're in and what exactly happened after those battles. Um, the political outcomes of those battles must always be taken into consideration with the importance of battles. Uh, 
And I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys uh, found that to be enlightening, to be helpful. Uh, and of course, thought provoking. Hit like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you guys thought about this fast fact. Uh, as always, I am Ted. And I will see you guys next time for another fast fact.